Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is another UK mod showcase for Transport Fever 2. Got plenty to look at in this episode, mostly reskins and a new building, but there is a brand new model which is going to be released soon. I'm not sure when, but uh, I have been reliably informed it's it's on its way. We're currently riding along with this class 322. This is by this is a reskin by Mad Hatter. It's a reskin of the class 321 model by originally by Young Lennon. So the class 322 for the standard express service was based on the class 321. I don't think there is really any visible difference. So it is just a straight up reskin, but it just uh, looks pretty good in this uh, in this livery, I think. It's quite simple, but uh, yeah, it does looks quite classy, I think, and will be good for any of your uh, south southern builds that you might be attempting. Uh, we're going to jump next to what's this that's just gone off in the distance? Let's let's get the hood back up so we can take a look. This is another Stansted Express 322. Why is that there? Not sure, but I didn't want to uh, didn't want to look at that. I wanted to look at something else. Let's have a look at this instead. The uh, London North Western Railway branded Class 350. Another reskin. Uh, this is by Plain Simple, and obviously the original Class 350 450 model was by the Growl and CW315. So this will should be available from about. Uh, 19, 19, 2017 when the London North Western Railway franchise took over. It looks really good in this livery, I think. I'm just having a quick... I think it's got the... Uh, almost thought I heard the, the beep that you can hear sometimes. I think it's the traction motors of the 350s that does make a very distinctive noise. I'll just be quiet for just a minute because I'm pretty sure it did have that distinctive... It's almost like a beeping sound. If it's um, hold on, yeah, I'm not sure if you can quite hear that, but there is that distinctive kind of beeping sound. I think the traction motors make. Now, if you're doing a West Midlands or a West uh, Birmingham build of any description, you will want um, you will want another London. London, ugh. another another West Midlands trains to go with your build, and I'm trying to look for it. And you know what I've done? I think I've put two class three two twos out. So what what we're going to do? We're going to head over to the depot. We're going to look at electrical multiple units. So we're going to take a look at the three two two. It's got its own menu setting there. Uh, capacity of eighty. What's that? How does that compare to a three two one? So the stats are all the same for that and I'm guessing the four car 350 168 capacity it's the same for both of those as well so what do I want I want one of them is it yes it is class 323 in West Midlands railway colours let's buy one of those and let's chuck one of them on got no uh, thing there but it's not the end of the world chuck that on there put that on a route and we can watch it coming out of what capacity is that it doesn't matter these new UK uh, depots train maintenance sheds now they're not actually depots they are a prop but they look pretty cool and they really are good for any UK builds that you are planning take a closer look at them in a minute I just want to show you this what we've been looking for is the, uh, the class 323 in West Midlands railway colours looks really nice I think you will agree so yeah if you're doing a Birmingham or a West Midlands build you've got a class 350 there and now you've got this class 32 um, 323 again 2017 is when the franchise started so I imagine this this that, that is when they will be available from uh, reskin by plain simple the original model by young Lennon yeah, it's just good to have some uh, West Midlands Railway and some London North Western Railway liveried units finally available. Getting a good selection of British electrical multiple units now stretching from north to south. So it really is a good variety of EMUs available for you to uh, for you to build for you to use on your lines. 
go back to the, the train maintenance depot now. Actually, I'm just going to... I'll delete these ones. Oh, they've got a front door as well, which I have to delete. Ah, cool. Not sure if you're supposed to delete it like that, but... Uh, yeah, no, I don't think that's supposed to happen. But what it is, it is a prop, so you will find it in the landscaping terrain, obviously, and then your assets, and if you scroll down to the depot somewhere, you've all oh, the three two threes have got uh, I've got props as well. Let's chop one chop one of them down. Is that even got oh it's got even got its doors on there, look at that. Level of detail these modders go to. But we digress. So it's UK TMD train maintenance depot. I just what I did is I put a cheeky extension on to one of the older ones just so it looked like trains were coming out of it. Um only little thing for me it hasn't got the uh, hole for the catenary but you really usually wouldn't have catenary catenary um in your train maintenance depot you'd normally have the trains hauled in by another 08 or something just to shunt them around the yard but these are great little um train maintenance depots if you want a kind of uk build i think it just adds a little bit of extra something to any of your builds a little of extra, bit of extra detail and you can just chuck them on there as, as a little extension and you, then the trains can actually be fully functioning or if you want to do a bit of detailing high detailing then um, chuck a train in there which is under repair or whatever um, oh you can select all the different ones there we go we've got Oh, one of them panto down oh that's even better there we are so yeah they are pretty pretty snazzy looking right and on to the main feature i guess which is these if you follow cw's work at all you would have recognized already the three two the 225 like class 91 hauled in city train this is a beta, so I really do need to state that from the beginning. He's been completely remodelling the 225 for the modern age. Look, really does look very good. The Mark IV carriages have been completely remodelled with new bogies, lots more detail and things going on, and new options that are available for this. Uh, I think it's probably best explained in the actual depot itself, and then. I've just paused that so I know he's there. If we go into the depot, this time around with the 225, first of all you have to buy your locomotive. That is because there's different variants, so over the years there's been different brands and different um, special locomotive wraps done. So this is for the Fall and this is one of the... Uh, well, is that World War One? commemoration ones battle of britain so obviously he's commemorating the battle of britain i have seen a 007 wrapped one as well so that was when skyfall i want to say came out they did a huge wrap of a 225 and i've also seen a gner and uh london north eastern railway liveries as well but they're all still in the works but you can now ch pick your special commemorative um class 91 <laughs> and then so what you do is you pick which one you want so we'll have a battle of britain add that and then you go to actual multiple units and it is a fixed formation uh so it technically is a uh, multiple unit and then it's in city 225 standard set and you've got a pullman set as well um not sure is there any difference yes yeah, slightly less capacity on the pullman set than the uh, the standard capacity of 226 um, locomotives go to there now it's got a locomotive on the back of that so I the first thing I did is and I know this is still a beta as well so uh, this is just something I did is I put one of them on and it will actually come out without the 91 on the front of it it was driving around with no uh, with no front end but what you want to do is you want to pick your front end your class 91 locomotive which is up here and then get your basically electrical multiple unit fixed formation 
and add one of those. It is slightly longer than the other 225s, so it's 263 metres long, so I might have to lengthen some of my stations on the build that I'm doing, but not to worry. But what you'll end up with, if you go through all that, is a nice looking model with... Yeah, it's going to be World War One, isn't it? Commemorative wrap with the poppies there. Just really super level of detailing. But like I said, it is a beta, so there is still stuff to sort out. Um, but in terms of uh, trains goes, pretty, pretty up there in terms of detail. If we just scan down, get rid of that. And actually look at it you see there it's got all its uh, mark 4 carriages and then the uh, locomotive on the end as well now, I'm not sure if that is supposed to be a locomotive there or if that's supposed to be kind of a driving van trailer but it will work as a locomotive um, and it will go backwards and forwards as well so it doesn't turn around at the end of the, if you've got a terminus train station it will go forwards and backwards basically so yeah no I haven't got a date for when this is coming out but it is coming out when it's it's going to come out when it's ready basically but CW315 kindly let me have a beta just to take a look at it and just to appreciate its splendidness basically so there we are I've got to leave you with that I think a few uh, not a huge amount but there's some pretty good looking uh, models in there definitely plenty for you to get your teeth into on your, any of your UK builds that you might be planning so I'll leave you with the 225 and I say until next time bye bye